Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Eric talking to Tommy from the Bronx, one of your subscribers, one of your many subscribers, and uh, I just I can't even imagine unsubscribing to you because because what? Because you're you're too nice to people? What the fuck, man? What's that? What's that about? Um, golly, man, I don't even know what goes through some people's heads, man. I I mean people. The reasons for not believing in a god are as varied as there are people that, you know, are atheists. But I got to think that one of the things that that most of them probably have in common is they don't like the idea of somebody telling them what to do. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm not, I can't be a part of the Catholic Church. I don't want some pope telling me what to do. Oh, but some other atheist on YouTube. Oh yes, please tell me how to act and who I should be friends with. <laughs> You know, it's like, I don't know, I don't know a uh, thinking atheist that would let Richard Dawkins tell him who to be friends with. You know, it's kind of like, hey, you know, you live your life, I live mine. This isn't a church. We don't have a doctrine. Uh, hmm. Now, if you want to start your own, if he wants to start his own atheist church with a doctrine, that's great, but... I think you can count on the fact that you're probably not going to join. <laughs> um, yeah, man. We need subscribers like that anyway, man. It's like, what? I don't know. I just It's just so ridiculous to me. The idea that, uh, you know, if you're an atheist, you have to be militant and, and, and disrespect anybody who thinks differently than you. And, and if you show any sort of humanity or... Or, or even, you know, kindness towards any people at oh, all. You're weak and, and you're, you're, you're fucked up. It's like, whatever, dude, you know. It's like I'm, I would encourage that cat to take a close look at himself. It's like, dude, you're the one that's fucked up. You know. That's what I would say. You know, but I don't know. And it's always, and with somebody you know, it's always like a little bit more, because uh, it's like, yeah, they're friends, but you know, that's the thing about, like, when you know somebody, they're your friend. They express an idea you think it's fucked up, you know, you can tell, feel completely free to tell them, man, don't you, don't you realize how fucked up that is? I mean, think about it, man. You know, and hopefully they won't just take it with a grain of salt, but think about it, you know. So, I don't know, but I just, yeah, I just had to send you a video on this, man, because I'm with you 100% on that shit, man. It's like, you know... That's absolutely absurd, trying to tell people what they ought to do. I mean, okay, you know what? I gotta admit, I'm kind of guilty of that, to an extent. Like, as far as I advise people, well, I don't think that that's a good idea, or I think maybe I ought to do this, but usually I tend in the opposite direction, whereas I'm like, you know, just because you're an atheist doesn't mean you have to be an asshole about it. That's my thing. I'm like, you know, I mean, everybody's free to do what they want, be my guess. You know, but... I don't know, you know, I just think there are, uh, there are ways to go about things than, than just, like, you know, why go out of your way to make enemies? I mean, I don't care who said it. Uh, those who are not against us are for us. There's a lot, there's a lot to that that makes a lot of sense to me. It's like, yeah, man. You know, no need to go out of your way to make enemies. <laughs> You'll have plenty of them, trust me. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say about that.